Yesterday we learned about our five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, touch, smell. Today we're going to focus on our sense of sight. This lesson is called the sense of sight. Let's go over some vocabulary. The first word is iris. Say iris. Iris is the colored part of the eye. Leap. Say leap. Leap means to jump. Protect. Say protect. Protect means to keep something safe from harm. So we wear sunglasses to protect our eyes from the sun. The last word is pupil. Say pupil. Pupil is a small covered black hole in the center of the eye where the light enters. Okay, so this lesson is called the sense of sight. Listen carefully. Have you ever heard people say, look before you leap? They are warning you to be careful and think things through before you act. Look before you leap is a saying that makes a lot of sense because every day we use our eyes to look at the ground ahead of us before we walk, run, or leap. Imagine how much more dangerous it would be to do these things with your eyes closed. Our sense of sight helps to keep us safe. Your eyes help protect the rest of your body. Protect means to keep something safe from harm. They help you avoid bumping into things or tripping or falling as you move. You use your eyes to look both ways before you cross the street. But while your eyes are busy protecting you, what's busy protecting your eyes? Now listen closely and you'll learn about the body parts that work together to keep your eyes safe. You might not be able to tell when you look in a mirror, but in fact, your eyes are round like balls. That is why they are called eyeballs. Each of your eyeballs is about as big and almost as round as a normal sized gumball or marble, about an inch across. But your eyeballs aren't hard like gumballs. They're actually squishy like gummy bears. They are set into holes in your head called eye sockets so that they won't get dirty or poked. Your eyelids are little pieces of skin that come down and cover your eyeballs when you close your eyes or blink. Even when you are not trying to, your eyes blink automatically every few seconds in order to keep your eyeballs moist. The long hairs on your eyelids are called eyelashes. They help brush away dirt before it can get into your eyes. And your eyebrows, the hair just above your eyes, are important too. They help keep water and sweat from flowing down into your eyeballs. Tears, the very same tears that come out when you cry, are important for protecting your eyes too. Tiny tear ducts in the corners of your eyes release the tears which keep your eyes moist and help wash away, wash your eyes when irritating objects such as dirt or small bugs get in them. All these body parts, eyelids, eyelashes, eyebrows, tear ducts, and eye sockets do their part to protect your eyes from getting hurt from the outside. But eyes need to be protected from the inside too. Luckily, eyes can protect themselves with the help of two inside, inside parts of the eye, the iris 
am the pupil. So before we move on, let me just point to some of these. So this right here is your eyebrow. This here is your eyelid. It's what covers your eye on the top. These are eyelashes, the little hairs. This right here is a tear duct. That's where your tears come out of. The colorful part of your eye is called the iris. And the black hole in the middle is called the pupil. Look at your friend's eye, or look at the eyes of someone at your house. See the little black dot right in the middle? It looks like a dot, but it is actually a tiny covered hole. That is called the pupil, and that is where the light comes into the eye. Look at your friend's eyes again. Which color do you see around the pupil? The colorful ring that surrounds the pupil is called the iris. Different people have different colored irises. The most common colors are brown, blue, and green. But there are lots of different shades. You can also have gray, light or dark brown, or greenish blue eyes. The iris controls the amount of light that gets into the pupil. This is important because you can hurt your eyes if too much light comes into them. When you turn down the lights in the room, your irises open up, which makes your black pupils bigger. This lets in more light and makes it easier for you to see. When you walk out into the sunlight, your irises close up around the pupils so that your pupils are very small and less light comes in. Whether your irises are blue, brown, or green, their job is to control how much light gets into the pupils. Be glad that your amazing eyes have all their parts and know that they are always working hard to help you see the world around you. You can do your part too by trying not to put anything into your eyes that might harm them, especially your fingers. If you protect your eyes, your eyes can do their best to protect you. The next time you hear someone say, look before you leap, tell your eyes a quiet thank you for helping to keep you safe. So our eyes are really amazing. Our sense of sight helps to keep us protected. Go ahead and answer the questions below.